Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So I just want to uh, give you guys a little uh, information on how to connect your Tesla to a Wi-Fi network without a Wi-Fi network. As y'all know, I live in an apartment and I park my car in the basement. So there's no way that you can uh, connect to a Wi-Fi network unless I park my car outside in a parking lot outside. Uh, and the signal is really faint because I live in 11th floor and uh, it's really, really bad. And uh, so there's only one op option. Well, there there are several options that you can do. You can add a router and stuff. That's way too much. The option that I'm going with is your phone. So you take a phone that you're not using. Um, for me, it's this iPhone 10. Well, I am using it, but... Uh, I don't use it often, so it's it's my backup phone. So it's a good thing to have a backup phone. If you don't have a backup phone, you should get a backup phone. It doesn't matter, uh, old as uh, Nokia or anything. Just keep a backup phone uh, so you can swap the SIM in case of your old phone, you know, breaks or something. Uh, your new phone breaks or something. So uh, this is my backup phone. And as you can see, I swapped my SIM. LTE network is on. I'm just going to go into my uh, settings. Go to uh hotspot and turn on the hotspot and as you can see the hotspot is on so now all i gotta do is go to my car click on the lt icon little lt icon let it load and you get matushin's iphone and because i usually connect to it it automatically connects now with that you can actually download your software um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. So as you can see, it's saying that your software is up to date. I mean, I don't really think so. Your car software is up to date. No, I don't think so because they just released a new software. So I am in 12.2020.12.11.1. I'm pretty sure there is 2020.12. Uh, I mean, 2020.16. something that's out there. Um, I'm just going to leave it here for now. So I'm just going to leave the phone open this little cubby up obviously lock my phone so as you can see yeah i have my elon um, i have elon's uh profile on it obviously i mean lock screen wallpaper because i am a fanboy um so it's charging uh it's gonna stop charging uh once the car is locked uh so that's the nature of the car i'm pretty sure because uh, anyways so it's connected to Wi-Fi. Wi uh, it's connected to my car. I mean, my uh, phone. Make sure that your phone, that your second phone, is not a key for your car or connected to it in any way in terms of phone calls and all that stuff. So to make sure that I'm not getting anything like that, I'm just going to simply put my phone on... Um, uh like privacy mode so nobody can call me or uh anything like that so basically i'm gonna put it on do not disturb mode so i'm just gonna click on that and see until i leave this uh so until i um till i leave the destination so this location so it's on do not disturb so nobody can call me uh so i mean nobody really calls me everybody texts me or instagram message me or something like that so uh, that's that. So it's connected. And, uh, if I get an update in the past couple of hours, um, I'll get a, a notification on my fo other phone, uh, which will be connected to the Wi-Fi, um, upstairs in my house. So, uh, that's what it is. And by the way, the battery is at, uh, 57%, which is about 250, I guess. You can also ask Siri about that. Uh, so let me see if, if that works. Hey Siri, what's the battery level of my car? You'll need to open Tesla to complete this request. Uh, right. So yeah, I get it. So because I haven't used uh, Tesla app in this phone at all, so it's not really signed in. So actually wanted me to open the Tesla app. I, the another video that's coming out soon, uh, which is all about what Siri can achieve with uh, just you commanding Siri to do like, let's say asking your car to, you know, do something crazy uh, to Siri without any app, without needing to download any special app 
that's an app store. So that video will be coming out soon. But anyways, um, so again, uh, premium connectivity expired. Uh, that another that's another story. But uh, forget about that. So we're about the uh, uh, Wi-Fi. So if you don't have any uh, phone or anything like that, I mean, if you don't have a Wi-Fi network, you can use your phone. You can actually use your personal phone if you're not using your phone at all. Like nobody's going to call you or anything like that. If you have a software update, it will say with a green arrow and you want it to download it. All you got to do is disconnect your phone uh, as a key. So can disconnect that and then just use your credit card, uh, your card key that Tesla provides to you, like your Tesla key and get in and out uh, that way and still keep your phone inside the car without it uh, being unlocked if, without it, the car being unlocked so that's another option for you or just simply turn off the uh, bluetooth that works too i don't know if you, if you need bluetooth for uh, the hotspot to work or not but you can always give it a try actually you know what let me give it a try and see if you need bluetooth uh, for personal hotspot to work I mean, it doesn't seem so. So I guess uh, you don't really need Bluetooth. You just need LTE. That's fantastic. So it's still connected. So that's good. So that's it for today's video. Uh, that's about it. I just want to give it a quick little video about uh, how to download software when you're not near any Wi-Fi network at all. So that's it for today's video. This is me, Madrushin, um signing out. Uh, be sure to subscribe, uh, like this video, and uh, leave my social media down below. Um, my Twitter handle is down below. I usually tweet a lot about Teslas and SpaceX and whatever Elon is up to. And uh, also my Cybertruck uh, page on uh, Instagram, I also leave that down below. That's mostly about Cybertruck pictures that you probably haven't seen before. It's it's just uh, my own uh, um, uh, Instagram um, um, <laughs> page. Man, I can't find more words. But anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is me, Madrushin, signing out.